Right, how are you doing? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. Today is the second part of our little series of two parts, basically, of um, the belt buckles uh, relationship in the golf swing. So basically how we should pivot, how we should rotate, how we should stay in posture. Um, what we've done is just to very, very quickly clarify, is we've talked about in a small amount of detail the rotation in the backswing position and the importance of staying in posture. And we also talked about the transition of being able to stay in posture coming down with some key features of basically how to do things like shift pressure. What should happen now is um, if you just kind of pause at, say, left arm horizontal. So this is kind of just used as a reference where if you look at professional golf swings, there's often commonality where um, the pelvis would be back to parallel at this sort of point in the golf swing. And the reason that happens is very much like what we talked about in the previous video. Now, what would happen in reality at this stage is that you would start to come more up. Yeah, so basically, exactly. So you would start to rise coming in towards the hit. But the problem with many amateur golfers is that you rise too soon. So what I would do is I, yeah, exactly. So you come up too soon. So what I would do, and this isn't necessarily a relative, this is a feeling, is I would try and keep the pelvis downward facing. So if we now use the belt buckle again as a reference, which is what this series has been about, your belt buckle at this stage now, because we're trying to exaggerate this, should start to move down towards your left ankle. So you keep rotating, yeah. And what this does is this kind of helps you really get a feeling of clearing the hips. You can see the way that George's lead hip joint stays more towards the centre of the stance than surpassing the ankle line, which basically helps him bring the club down onto plane and in towards this sort of release. So you want to try and get this feeling of pointing the pelvis down towards your lead ankle. Now, the reason why obviously we've done this as a two-part series is that one of the problems that can happen is that you can spin out, which basically means, yeah, that way. Now that's why we kind of talked about the idea of, okay, well if I swung up towards the top and I kept my pelvis downward facing, and then I went with my feeling of the belt buckle going down towards my lead ankle, then you can spin out. That's why I would strongly suggest that you, you understand that in the backswing, you're turning the pelvis down and towards the ground, you keep the weight momentarily on the right as you then go back down, and this will just stop the right hip from moving back away from the target, which is the definition of a spin out. So let me just kind of bring a club in here. So if you swing up again and pause, so if you kind of, so if I kind of place this cane, uh, this club against George's right hip joint, and then if you spin out, yes, you can see the way it comes back. So if you swing up again, this time you're gonna keep the weight on the right, keep the belt, oh, if we do it correctly, so keep the weight on the right, yeah, exactly this way. And then what we can see is as he comes into this hip, we're gonna try and keep the pelvis downward facing. Good. Now, drills and exercises. F first of all, um, if you show us a uh, setup position, and then if you show us like a pre-impact position. Yeah, exactly. So what you could do is if you just rest the club behind the ball, um, what you could do, so go back into normal. So the first feeling would be open up the hips. And then what you want to do is you want to exaggerate, keep that left leg bent for us and just keep your pelvis downward facing. So by kind of hitting a few shots and if you just kind of pitch a few, just half, less than half a swing really. Yeah, exactly. So you're kind of going to start that way. Yeah, exactly. So you kind of, you know, if you're somebody who knows that you get a bit stuck and a bit flippy, then what I'd suggest is get yourself set up, go open first, then get your belt buckle down towards your lead ankle. This will really emphasize the weight pressure again back in towards that left heel. And it will just give you a much stronger sense of, um, of should we say, feeling like you're much more over the ball. And it's just a worthwhile exercise just to get accustomed to that sort of position. The other way that you can do this is through. Um, so all of it's on the left. So it's only just not getting, not interfering with your way at all on the right hand side. Um, and then what this sort of exercise we'll see in a moment is this gives you a stronger visual. So if you kind of, um, we might as well just go through all of it. So if you swing up, slowly transition. And then now what, what you're feeling is, yeah, exactly, is the keep it downward facing. So if you do that again, just pause at that left arm horizontal again for us. Good. And then as you come into this stage, you want to kind of keep it yeah, down. And what you want to avoid as a, as a um, again, not as a reality, as a feeling, yeah, if you pause at left arm horizontal, but this time, yeah, now hit the club uh, with the cane, sorry. Yes, exactly. So we want to avoid kind of too much of a lifting. Now, that's very much a feeling. And the reason why it's very much a feeling is because most amateur golfers struggle with a, <coughs> a loss of posture, which means that <coughs> you're in essence rotating on too much of a horizontal axis anyway. Uh, so you're too much this way or you know definition of an early hip extension so that's why I would try and dramatize and exaggerate the feeling of keeping your pelvis as downward facing as you can for as long as you can 
and then what you'd have to do is you'd have to align your ability to swing on plane by doing things like driving your elbow. So the feeling and the summary is, to go back to the simplicity is, if you get set up for us, I'm just gonna move this camera back here to finish, is that in the golf swing, we basically need to stay in posture. So if you kind of stay there for me. So George's belt line at the moment would be pointing like so, right? So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna exaggerate it and pretend it was pointing more down to the ball because it's an easier reference, but you don't need to change anything. We're just gonna use it like this. Then if you swing up towards the top and pause, due to the nature of keeping the pelvis downward facing, you can see the way that we stay in posture, which basically means he hasn't come out of posture from there. As you transition slowly, very good, and then coming towards pre-impact, yeah, exactly. So, you know, that, that would be the idea of keeping the belt buckle pointing down towards the ball is basically your ability to stay in posture. Obviously, that's very much a feeling, and that's something that we're going to talk about in more detail as time goes on. But, you know, like I said in a video at the beginning of the year, majority of people that I meet are failing in the backswing position and the majority of people that I meet don't load correctly. So you do things like sway or you fabricate movement. If you're gonna work on anything this year, I'd work on your pivoting action because it'll make a big, big difference. And what I'd do is I'd start focusing about your visual line of that uh, hip action. It's gonna give you a massive uh, improvement. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Catch up with you soon.